But let's, so let's look at something that's slightly more relevant. Mixing problems. Th now, this is really important. Okay, this is an old favourite. An old favourite for end of session exams. Now, it's a word problem, so it's more difficult. We need to take that information and come up with some sort of differential equation and then solve it. So it's more difficult than just being given a differential equation and saying, look, just you know, grind out the solution somehow. So let's have a look. At um, t equals, time t equals zero, a tank contains one kilo of salt dissolved in 100 litres of water. And salty water is being pumped into the tank, and that salty water contains one kilo of salt per litre, and, it's, and the um, substance is coming in at three litres per minute. The solution's then stirred, and um, there's another outlet pipe where the, sol where the stirred solution's draining at three litres per minute. What you're asked to do is to predict how much salt will be in the tank at any, at any time t. Now, you might think, oh, hang on, this, this is, does this really happen in, in, in real life? Well, I... I have heard of um, um, industries that sort of do hydrodynamical experiments where they have a dye in here and they've done their experiment involving their dye and then they need to clean the tank. So they pump in fresh water and then measure how much dye is left in the tank at, at any time. So to get it down to a certain level. So how do you do it? Th this is one of the hardest problems that you look at in first order ODE. So um, yeah, it, it takes a bit of care. So like, like any... Um, Modeling problem, let's introduce some notation to sort of mathematicize it. So I'm going to say let A of T be the amount of salt in the tank at time T. So that'll be in kilograms. Now we have an initial condition there already. At time t equals zero, the tank contains one kilo of salt. So the initial condition, A of zero is just one. So what we need to do now is somehow put these ideas together and come up with, with a differential equation. Now the differential equation we're going to come up with has to do with the rate of change of salt in the tank with respect to time. And there's a real simple way um, of, of getting this. And it's contained in the following. So. Uh, sorry, weight of change. Salt in the tank at time t is just the rate at which salt enters minus the rate at which salt leaves. That's it. The rate at which salt enters minus the rate at which salt leaves. So over here on the left-hand side, this is going to be something like dA dt. And I just need to work out my two parts on the right-hand side. Now, the rate at which salt enters is pretty simple. Okay, We've got three litres of um, liquid coming in, and there's one, kilo of, uh, one quarter of a kilo per litre of salt. So the rate at which... The rate at which salt enters is just going to be oh, 
One quarter of a kilogram per litre times three litres per minute. Now we need to worry about this. This is a slightly harder bit. Okay? So how would we determine this? Well, you can get this by multiplying the concentration of salt by the outflow rate. Okay, so um, uh, if V's the, uh, sorry, if A's the amount of salt at time t, the concentration is given by the amount of salt divided by the amount of liquid in the tank. Okay? So, because the inflow and outflow are the same, we've got three litres going in and three litres coming out, the tank is always going to contain three, uh, 100 litres. Right? Now, this will be in um, kilograms per litre. And we need to multiply that by the outflow, three litres per minute. Okay. So all you need to do is um, uh, just, you know, you can get rid of the units if you want to. So you're going to get three quarters minus a, a three on a three a on one hundred. That is it. So think of this here as the concentration of salt. To find the concentration of salt in the tank at time t, you take the amount of salt and divide it by the amount of fluid in the tank at time t. Now, if I change that problem a bit, for example, if the liquid is coming in at 3 litres and leaving at, say, I don't know, 2 litres, this, this wouldn't be a constant anymore. Okay, so you have to think carefully about, well, what's the volume of fluid in the tank at time t? But for this one, it's, it's fairly simple. Alright, so we've done it. We've come up with our differential equation. We have an initial condition. All we need to do is solve it. Okay, what kind of differential equation is this? Well, it's separable and it's linear. So you can choose which method you want to use. You can separate the variables or you can go through, you know, work out the integrating factor and um, do all that sort of stuff. So we have a choice. I'm going to do it as a linear differential equation, but it's up to you. So the integrating factor here is um, the following. Okay, so it's e to the integral of minus 3 on 100 dt. It's just the coefficient, oh sorry, positive, positive. Because you bring that to the other side, it's going to be positive. Alright, so it's going to be 3t on 100. So then multiplying through by my integrating factor and you know, collapsing using the product rule, I'll come up with the following. So all I need to do now is integrate that bottom line, the DDT is going to disappear, and then rearrange. So my general solution is 
going to be something like this. Oop, plus. Uh, okay, the C's here is an int integration constant. Well, there's one thing I haven't used yet, though. Can anyone tell me the one thing I haven't used? In, yes, right, the initial condition. I, need, I want to find that C. So I've, I've got to use this now. So I go back here, put in T equals 0, set the whole thing equal to 1, and then rearrange to find C. You get C equals minus 24. Okay, so I've sort of squished that in there. Okay, so now, now I have um, skipped a couple of steps there. I haven't done all the steps for the linear, the, the linear um, solution. Um, but who can tell me what's the limiting value for the amount of salt in the tank as, as time goes on? 20. What, what, what's it going to be? 25. Well, 25, right. So as time, go, uh, time gets large, this, this is going to disappear, go to zero. So we're left with the amount of salt being 25. So you can think of that, well, um, the, the, the limiting amount of salt, the maximum amount of salt you can get in there is going to be 25 kgs. Students don't have a problem solving those kind of problems. What they do have, well, when they've got the differential equation, what they do have is actually a, a problem with taking the information and forming the differential equation. Okay, that is, the, that is the most challenging thing about this problem. The linear differential equation isn't hard to solve. Okay, well, you guys will master those techniques easy. But that's the hard. So the, 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 the easiest I think I can make it is the rate of change of anything in, in, in these sort of tank problems, it's the rate at which the salt enters, in this case, minus the rate at which the salt leaves. That's it. Questions? 